Jamie Snyden's Rachel Sanchi spoke to a vet to get answers. She joins us live along with Chief. Hey, Chief. Hey, Rachel. Good morning. Good morning, Rob. Yes, this is our pup, Chief. And for so many families, our pets really just become another family member. So when news broke earlier this month about a tiger in a New York zoo that contracted COVID-19, I think for a lot of pet owners, it became really fearful. Zoo officials say that in this case, they believe the tiger was infected by a zookeeper. So it really begs the question, could this happen to my pet? It doesn't appear that cats and dogs can readily be infected with the COVID-19 virus. It's understandable to be concerned, but at this time there's little to no evidence that they can contract the disease and there's been no evidence that they can transmit it to other pets or to their human owners. Now, no pets have tested positive for COVID-19 in the U.S. However, there have been two dogs and two cats to test positive for the virus overseas in Hong Kong and Belgium. None of them showed signs of the disease except for one cat. All of their owners had also tested positive for COVID-19. Now, those pets are recovering, but because of the limited research available, Dr. Nichol says that if you do test positive, that you should just treat your pet as as another member of your family and quarantine from them just to protect them and keep them safe. So I posted a lot of helpful links and a lot more information over on my Facebook page. So check that out just to, for ways that you can keep your pets safe during this pandemic. Rachel Sanchi, KBC 9 News. It's great information. Us pet owners like myself also had those questions, Rachel. Thanks so much. Chief's tired, I think. I know he's been working all morning, so we appreciate his help.